Hey, what's up, everybody? We have breaking news this morning because we have design candidates unveiled for the 2026 semi-quincentennial Lincoln Cent and Jefferson Nickel. On this video, we will be reviewing those design candidates. I will be giving you my thoughts, my opinions. I would love to hear your thoughts, your opinions in that comment section below. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the video. And this comes to us by coinnews.net and Mike Unser. We're going to go over this article and review those design candidates. It says design candidates unveiled for the 2026 semi-quincentennial Lincoln Set and Jefferson Nickel. In 2026, the United States will celebrate the 250th anniversary of its founding to commemorate this milestone. As authorized by Public Law 116-330, the U.S. Mint will revamp its circulating coins for that year. Earlier this month, in preparation for the review stage, design candidates for the obverse side of the Lincoln Cent and Jefferson Nickel semi-quincentennial coins were unveiled by the U.S. Mint. So here we have a couple of those designs, but if we go down a little bit further, we will see more design options for review. Proposed designs for both denominations revolve around a combination of dates and use of Privy mark, very interesting use of a privy mark for the date and years 1776 and 2026 would be separated by a tilde, otherwise known as a little squiggly line. The privy mark option features 250 with a depiction of the Liberty Bell. Very cool. The four design candidates for the 2026 semi quincentennial Lincoln set follows so if we look down here we have four designs for the lincoln cent one the first one here they all say at the top in god we trust in god we trust in god we trust in god we trust but the difference is going to be with the dates and with the liberty bell or even without the liberty bell with the 250 in the center so on the first design candidate that we're looking at for the lincoln set it has the date 1776 2026 on the right side with the little squiggly line separating the two dates then you have liberty on the left side of lincoln's portrait with the liberty bell with the 250 250 from the top to the bottom you had the two the five and the zero then on the next one you have the liberty bell instead of the squiggly line separating the 1776 and the 2026 and then on the left side you have the word liberty and then on the third for the lincoln set you have again in god we trust you have liberty to the left of lincoln's portrait and then you have the date 1776 2026 with the little squiggly line separating the dates and then on the fourth option you have on the left side of lincoln's portrait you have the word liberty with the privy mark liberty bell with 250 inside the liberty bell and then just the date 2026 now, now which option for the lincoln cent do you like better in my opinion i think i like the first one better number one i very i really like the liberty bell option so that one so for that reason i will eliminate the third option because i really like the liberty bell privy mark and going with the liberty bell option then we have three options left number one number two and number four at, at least that's what i'm numbering them one two and four and out of those three options i like the first one better where you have liberty right above the liberty bell with the 250 in the center and then on the other side to the right of lincoln's portrait i like the one with the dates 1776 
2026 with the little squiggly line separating the dates. I really don't like it just having the 2026 by itself. And I really don't care for, even though I think this is a better option than the two below it, I don't really care for the Liberty Bell separating the dates. I like it where it has Liberty above the Liberty Bell with a 250 in the center. That's my opinion. I'll go with option one for the Lincoln Cent. But let me know your thoughts about the Lincoln Cent. Which option of these would you go with? Would you go with version A, version B, the 2026 one cent date range, or the 2026 one cent privy mark? So I named these one, two, three, and four. Which one of those do you like better? Let me know that in the comment section below. And then it says the three design candidates for the 2026 semi-quincentennial Jefferson Nichols follows. And then similar to the Lincoln scent, the similarities between all three is they all say in God we trust, in God we trust, in God we trust along the right side of the edge of the rim. And then the differences would be the 1776-2026 separated by the little squiggly line with the word Liberty right below it and the mint mark. And I'm going to go ahead and eliminate this first option right here, in my opinion, because once again, it does not have the Liberty Bell privy mark. And I really like that Liberty Bell privy mark. So for me, it would be between this option, the second option, and the third option. And again, similar to my opinion on the Lincoln Cent, I really don't like the bell separating the two dates. I prefer the second option where you have the Liberty Bell sitting just above the word Liberty with the date 2026. With that being said, I wish there was a fourth option. And that fourth option for me would be if you took the date 1776, the little squiggly line, and 2026, lowered that down here to the bottom, had the word Liberty moved above the dates with the Liberty Bell privy mark sitting above the word Liberty. That would be my option, but looking at this, that is not the option. So for me, I would go with this second option with the Liberty Bell the 250 inscription inside that Liberty Bell privy mark, the word Liberty, and 2026. I wish the only difference with this one is that they added the 1776 to this one right above the date 2026 with that little squiggly line separating the two dates. But for me, with these three options, I will go with the 2026 five cent privy mark option but if we go back up and we look at the lincoln cent the way i would like to pretty much see this with the jefferson five cent nickel is similar to this first option with the lincoln cent and that is where you have the date range 1776 2026 liberty with the liberty bell privy mark that would be my pick if that was an option for the five cent Jefferson nickel, but obviously it's not. So I would go with number two. And then it says on February 15th, the Commission of Fine Arts, CFA, reviewed the seven design candidates for the two denominations. The Citizen Coinage Advisory Committee, CCAC, will review them on February the 27th. And that is today, folks. As I'm recording this video, it is February the 27th, and the CCAC will review these options today. So maybe we will find this out later today or tomorrow what the CCAC decides to go with. And whichever designs will be final after the CCAC gets done putting their two cents, their two cents, and their votes in then those candidates or those two options should also be a part of in the United States Mint Proof set. So these will be the new circulating coins for 2026, but also for 2026, the proof 
collectible versions and as well as uncirculated coinage. At least I believe that would be the case. Now the one question that I have is, is there legislation for and will it be an option to do these two in silver? That's something that would be very interesting to see because neither one of these coins are produced in silver. And I know there is many people who would like to see the Lincoln set done in silver. What about a five ounce silver option? Wouldn't that be pretty cool for that Lincoln set to do a five, not just doing it in silver, but also in a five ounce silver coin? I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Of course, that would require legislation and not up to the United States Mint or the Treasury Department to make that happen, but Congress would have to make that happen. But I do appreciate everybody for watching this video, taking time out of your day to watch this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Which one of these designs would you go with for 2026 for the Lincoln set and the Jefferson five cent nickel let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like comment subscribe share and i'll talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone